I'm so good at videos. Uh, <laughs> hello everybody, this is Bugman here, coming at you with some Besiege, which is really fun. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to make this quadcopter I'm flying around. It's really kind of, it's a very simple concept. Um, it works very well. So let's get started. First off, fuck you. What we're gonna do first is set two doubles out like so, and we're setting out the corners, and as you can guess, there's going to be single blocks on the edge of each of these, and it's fun. So, that's all that's really necessary for that. Next, you want to brace it. You want to basically connect all of these to the center by bracing. Pretty fun. It's exciting stuff here. And that's that's the basic setup. Then you're going to brace all of these together like so. This is all stuff you could probably figure out. So this is going to operate pretty much like a real life quadcopter would. Uh, we're going to rotate this slightly. And then we're going to... Oh. Pardon. Then we're going to put some landing gear on just to make it a little nicer to land. And that's the basic frame. You know what, for fun, I don't usually do this, but what the hell. We're gonna brace the landing gear to itself to add just a little more stability. That's gonna weigh it down a little, and we can definitely take it off. We'll see what we like. Uh, so this operates like a regular quadcopter would in concept operate, which basically means that, um, uh, these two two rotors go clockwise to counterclockwise. These will be the counterclockwise um, to provide lift. And how they... Uh, the speed at which they're providing lift alters which direction everything goes in. So, for example, if I wanted to... If, if I want to go forward-backward, like I'm going to do... These two need to provide the lift, and these two need to not. These two need to drop it slightly. Um, and those can stay the same. Actually, no, I, li I like the flips more than I like realistic design. Um, and for this layer, which is going to be left-right, these two are going to be the lift, these two are going to be the drop. So these are going to drop, and th these spin in the same direction, these spin in the same direction. Basically, they counteract each other in the long run. Uh, this is going to be our turning layer, which doesn't need to change at all, except the controls. Hold on. Uh, so each layer has its own control that alters the speed of the propellers that are going to be on top. These are going to be J and L for just twisting, and these are actually going to be at 2x. So, like so, and then finally, one last layer, and this is just going to be your lift layer, you get these two spinning counterclockwise and these two clockwise. Next, you're just going to throw a wooden block on top of each of these so you can place your propellers. And literally the only thing you have left is to place the propellers. Um, now when you see controls, when you're altering the controls, I'll show you in a second. So for example, uh, whoops, Q and E. Q, we'll copy that. Uh, Q at 2x speed, that's to provide lift, is going to spin this the direction that the arrow is pointing. And E is going to spin it the other direction. So flipping these just means I don't need to invert Q and E. You, you can do it that way too, and it works just fine. Um, but what's important is that the propellers be facing the same direction they're going to spin for lift. Not facing, they need to be tilting upward on the direction that the that the thing's going to be spinning. Otherwise, you won't get lift. You'll get nothing. Well, you, you will actually. You'll get lift from these and nothing from these. So the only way you'd get lift is on the thing. So what's left to do is test it goes up, goes down. It's light enough that it just sort of drops slowly. And you can even... You can lighten it up some more. Let's see how it controls. It flies upside down really well. 
as you can see. That, that's literally everything there is to making it. You can see, as I'm turning, the two in the back, since I'm going backwards, are going slower than the two in the front, which is mildly important. Uh, to turn, you'll see that those two stop and then etc. It's hard to... So the two that are going counterclockwise when I turn it, or the two that are going clockwise, stop, and the other two double time, which just puts spin in one direction, uh, which basically is just counteracting the reason you have four propellers. So now all the spinning propellers are going in the same direction. I'm actually going to re reduce those because it is a little bit slower to fall, and so a little bit quicker to go, and it's nice. Um, I, I can show you, so... I'm going to turn on left, and these two are going to slow down, but if I were going up, it'd be the other way. You can see, when hitting left, the two spinning rotors that normally would provide lift are basically just providing less lift in this case. So going down, but going up, you get a leftward spin. So it's... It operates really nicely, and I hope I hope you guys build it and have as much fun with this design as I do. If you add on to it at all, I'm sure you've seen this design. I just went I hadn't seen a quantifiable tutorial, so if anybody wanted to know how it works, this is how it works. Very well. Um, I've seen variances in design. This is what I find to be the simplest design. It works very well. I definitely just lost a propeller, but I can still fly. <laughs> oh lord oh it's so much fun um yeah like and favorite this video if it was your favorite video ever or if you liked it <laughs> or else the spinning propeller of doom will attack you oh that's great hold on hold on I just had an idea propellers of death Wings of Prey, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, it's so fun. It, it really is just absurdly entertaining to control. And it controls very well. You can, of course, map the controls however you like. If you alter this design at all, I would love to see it. Wait, what? How did that... What? What? That's not supposed to happen, it's supposed to be invincible. Uh, I'm sorry, I hadn't... I hadn't anticipated this. Right. So, subscribe for more. Um, and yeah, if you just... <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, this is too great. Subscribe for more. Uh, hopefully more to come. Post anything you want to see next in the in the down below in the comments, and I will absolutely try to make it. This is so fun. It really is. Alright, uh, have a good one.